Vlogmas. It's December 7th. I'm Barbara. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Diva S. And this is me in the morning. Ah. <laughs> I'm stretching funny because Pearl is laying right down here in front of the cabin. <laughs> right, Pug? That's where you like to lay, right in the way. Let me see. Where can I be the most in the way? Let me be there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's quarter to nine. We're sleeping in late. Are you hungry? You want your breakfast? Want my coffee? My water's boil boiling. All right. We'll get you some breakfast. All right. Should we get you some breakfast? Big breakfast today. And then she gets stinky fish oil. She's a little bit of an itchy dog. We got her from the same breeder we got Dasha. Dasha was also an itchy dog. So, a little extra fish oil seems to be in order. Right, pup? You ready? You ready for breakfast? Come on. No, I am not gonna open the door if I'm holding this and holding that. Oh my gosh. People are gonna get seasick. <coughs> and my water's ready. What are you finding? Is there somebody in your yard? Huh? Oh, it's a beautiful morning. And it's been so dreary the last couple of days. It's nice to have a nice morning. All right, sit. <clears throat> Pearl, sit. Good girl. All right, I always make her go the opposite so that we're actually sitting. Now I cannot see if I'm filming anything worthwhile. Can you see Pearl? You're good. Sitting good. I love these bowls. You eat too much, right? Right? You eat too much. Okay. Breakfast in the morning. That's one way to get her out of the way to make my coffee. <laughs> so my water's ready. So I heat up the cup. I'm using my red cup my friend Linda gave me for Christmas a couple years ago. The perfect cup to use with the AeroPress. But then I got the David's teacup, and it is also a great cup for, because you need a big cup, and it's got to be sturdy. So. I'm going to do my advents, but I have to get my glasses. My glasses and my remotes live on the mantle because my dog loves my glasses. So I've been catching up on Joanna, Opera Joe's um, vlogmas, and Pearl and I are just sitting here relaxing. I've been knitting, and now it's time for me to get started with my day, and today I have decided I'm going to decorate because the house looks like a disaster. We painted in October. We had to replace the carpeting after our lovely Dasha died. And so we took the opportunity to paint the walls, which hadn't been painted since we moved in in 2001, enough said. So it looks gorgeous in here. My masks are not back up on the wall, so we have a big blank wall over there. But um, other than that, I'm gonna be doing some decorating, so it'll look more Christmassy in here. I haven't put, we have tons of stuff. It's not back in this room because I decided I might as well not make room for my decorations. So, 
that's what I'm going to do today. Do a little tour of the living room before I start decorating. That's Isabel's shelf. The other shelves do not have anything back on it yet from when we cleared the living room. The love seat or window seat doesn't have much going on. We, I brought the boxes upstairs so it looks even messier than it was. The bachelor's chest, the mantle, those pumpkins and things were my centerpiece for Thanksgiving, but Pearl was jumping up on the table, so they ended up on the mantle. The mantle is where we put stuff that Pearl's not allowed to touch. And then the couch, the coffee table, and the corner. So this is the before. We'll see how we do with an after. I normally put my feather trees here on the window seat. I don't know if you can see them very well, but I suspect they will not end up here because feathers are probably very attractive to Pearl. This might not work. Well, <laughs> I'm, I just repeated what you said for, the, for, my, for my video. So I was trying to put the garland up and I stupidly put the masking tape on the TV, which is slopy in the back, and so the masking tape fell behind. Ta-da! <laughs> and luckily, Dennis has a sword. <laughs> I was getting ready to go to the, to the store. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Trying to decide how much I should decorate. I'm, uh, Cutting down a little bit. I'm hoping not to have to use the dining room for Christmas Day because it's a disaster. So we shall see. I still have those feathers on the window seat, which is probably a mistake. So I've decorated. I'm done decorating. I think I'm done. I put the lights up. Now these lights came down because we painted and these lights will not come down when Christmas is over because I love having those lights up. All year round, I have my balancing Santa. I don't know if you can see, it's balancing by its back two feet and it rocks. It's kind of fun. Some votive candles, which will have candles in them and no papers on top. I collect Santa's and Christmas trees. So this is one of my Christmas trees. I just figured out. I bought it probably 42 years ago because I bought that when I worked in Center City, Philadelphia and I quit that job when Jason was born and he just turned 40. So, and I haven't worked in Center City, Philadelphia since then. So I put some little garland. It's hard to see because of the backlight. Poinsettia. I think if you have poinsettias, you're decorated. Oops, sorry about that. So here's a tree. This will have votive candles in it so you will see the lights. And then I have a Santa shaped like a tree inside with a tiny little tree is the little middle thing. And then a tall Santa that goes with my big tree. And then my dear my reindeer and my Christmas trees. Maybe you can see the garland on this window better. And my lovely ornaments from Elizabeth. Since I'm not putting up a tree, I didn't have anywhere better to put those. And then another poinsettia and my Frosty. This was a gift from a lovely woman I worked with who gave me that the Christmas I left work. I have to put these two boxes away. Some candles. I need to get more candles. I did not keep my candles. And here is my table. All decorated. So that's it. I put my garland up, ladies, Helen. So we shall see how that goes. And this is the rest of my advents. I took them out of the pile on the table and I put them over here. Hopefully they will be out of Pearl's sight. She took off with one of my Fiber Nymph Dye Works advents. And junk. I mean, I always have junk. 
there's always junk. So anyway, I'm decorated. Now I just have to vacuum the floor. I'm hoping, I'm getting, I ordered a carpet sweeper, which I expect to get today. And I will try it on that messy floor. So that's it. That's decorations. So I've decided to make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to have lunch. It is 1.30. Lately, the last couple of days, I've been eating way too late. And Dennis made yogurt. So I'm going to have yogurt and tea for my lunch. And I'm going to have mocha orange biscotti tea, which is delicious. It was a gift to me. And it's a black tea, so it has caffeine. So I don't usually drink it when I normally drink tea because I'm often drinking tea because I don't want caffeine. So I am, it says near boiling water. So I am going to put my water boiler on 200 and make myself some tea. And I'm going to have it in my Jenny the Potter mug, which I like. And that should be fun. So yogurt, homemade, homemade Greek yogurt to die for. Dennis makes the most delicious yogurt and tea for lunch. Here's my yogurt. So delicious. The tea is steeping. And I'm going to be watching some Vlogmas and working on my Christmas knitting. Because I've been working hard this morning. So I'm going to relax. Yeah. Alright, so I'm watching Amy Florence on the Stranded Knit po Podcast. And I'm working on my Christmas knitting. And I don't know how I do this, but I do it all the time. So I'm at the decreases. I'm supposed to be decreasing every other row. One needle has eight stitches. One needle has 12 stitches. They're both supposed to have eight stitches. How can I do one side and not do the other? I, I do it all the time. Luckily, it's not going to matter for this pattern and I can just fudge it. But I do that all the time. I don't I don't know why that is. Oh well. Time to fudge. We're on our walk. There's somebody down with their dog on the field. We normally run Pearl, so we're going to go to one of the other fields. This park has baseball fields, and other soccer fields, so there are plenty of places to run Pearl. So we'll do that. We're better dressed today. We shouldn't be too cold. But it might be a little of a shorter walk today anyway because we're headed over to Dennis's parents' house for dinner. Um, his brother and both his sisters are going to be there, so all the kids. And uh, that doesn't happen very often. So we're going straight from the walk. Not that guy left, so we're going to be doing our normal thing. Right, pup? Let's go, puppy. Yeah. All right. Let's get Dennis! Let's get Dennis! Pretty girl! Let's go one more time! Come on! Pretty girl! Or not. Well, we're having an okay walk. She's had lots of distractions. I was walking her for a while and she needed some correction, but it's okay. She's a puppy. We've arrived. I'm doing I'm doing a daily vlog. These are oh, Dennis's brothers, brother and sisters, and that's his dad, hundred years old. I've talked about him before. <laughs> and here's my mother-in-law. And we're gonna be eating dinner here. And so we probably won't talk about that anymore. Turn this around for me. Yeah, Vicky's taking Turn a video of everybody me. and I'm putting it on my vlog. Just take it so you can Vlogmas. See I can see you. Okay. <laughs> Where's the nice. dog? Oh, she's under there. So over there. She's a mom. We got her head in mom's yeah, place. Right. We're back home from the in-laws, and this package arrived just as we were leaving. And I had ordered two things. One of which was slow knitting. So I'll be interested to read that. And the other is a Bissell sweep up. I need to clean the carpet, and this is an old-fashioned carpet sweeper, so we'll see how it works. So, it's kind of hilarious. They call this a cordless sweeper. Why don't... 
but that makes it sound like it's battery operated. It's not. It's a manual sweeper. Ugh. Anyway, let me put it together and see how it works. So Dennis asks, is it working? Ah, it is kind of working. But we may have more junk on this floor than a carpet sweeper can sweep. I don't know how useful that's going to be. We'll have to see. Looking good. So with my beautiful ornaments on my mantelpiece of my lovely fire in my fireplace, I'm going to sit here and read my new book and wish you happy vlogmas.